Hey, it's about to get a lot better for Sony fans. everybody how are y'all doing of course before we get started with this video give the video a thumbs up make sure you like the video let's get right to the news ladies and gentlemen it looks like things will be getting a lot better for PlayStation fans specifically those worried about getting consoles for next year it looks like according to this new report sony will be boosting production of playstation 5s now this is coming from digitimes they've already reported that there's an expectation for sony to reach 18 million consoles next year but how and why are they saying this number well according to this report it looks like they'll be able to achieve this number. It's going to be helped by a Taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company giving AMD more foundry capacity to produce more PS5 CPUs. And so it looks like supply production will be ramping up for Sony next year. And I've already said it, it's because of the games. If you thought the launch lineup for the PS5 was spectacular, which it was, 2021 is going to be even more amazing if you have a PlayStation 5. I'm talking about Ratchet and Clank, Gran Turismo 7, Horizon Forbidden West, God of War Ragnarok, Final Fantasy 16, those Resident Evil 8, huge 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 games many of which can only be played on a playstation 5 console and so according to this new report the playstation 5 cpus coming from amd will be ramping up production all signs lead to more ps5s will be will be produced than expected because of the high demand of the console you see all the news headlines you see it everywhere playstation 5s are sold out and many fans are clamoring trying to figure out how they're going to get a console we all know that um 600 stimulus check is covered and a lot of dudes will be spending their 600 getting a ps5 and one or two games and so great news great news ps5 ramping up production it's a phenomenal console i'm going to talk about my top five um, games of 2020 at the end of this video but the next news item the playstation plus january games have been announced and it's giving us a glimpse of what sony's plans will be for next year it looks like it's going to be one playstation 5 game to headline the free games and then two ps4 games to not leave those behind who cannot get a ps5 at the current moment but playstation plus great great value i don't trip about the 60 dollars a year membership because you get more than your money's worth um, with the free games you get every month all right and so to highlight january to highlight the january games man eater that's right the playstation 5 next gen version of man eater a shark a game where you're playing as a shark exclusive to the playstation 5 the next gen version of the game will be on playstation plus in january i'm hearing great things about this game that the game is actually pretty dope 
I'll download it. There's a lot of other games on my radar right now, but it's free. Tell me, how do you beat free? All right. That's for the PlayStation 5, and it's an exclusive. This next-gen version can only be played on the PlayStation 5 and improved resolution, improved frame rates. Now, the next two games, Greed, Greedfall, which is a fantasy RPG game, and this is for the PlayStation 4, and to round out the free games for January, another PlayStation 4 banger. Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Dope, dope, dope. Actually a fantastic game. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is a dope, dope, dope game. And so, great games coming in January for PlayStation Plus um, subscribers. Now, I have to remind you guys, we had a dope free game in December, Bug Snacks. Make sure you add this game either to your library or actually download the game because you won't be able to download for free bug snacks after January 4th. And so make sure you get grab bug snacks. That's going to be the next game I'm going to play after I beat Sight Boy. I'm currently playing through Sight Boy with the sponsors on my gaming channel. Go check out my gaming channel, Obi Wan Plays Gaming Championship. Having a fun time. We game with the sponsors. Um, almost nightly and so bug snacks expires January 4th so make sure you download bug snacks I've heard that this game is surprisingly surprisingly good all right speaking of great games 2020 is coming to an end ladies and gentlemen now we all know the year has been a pretty trash year for everything else but for gaming it's been a spectacular year for gaming. Two next-gen consoles, tons of great games to play. And so, for the rest of this video, I'm going to share with you guys my top five games of 2020. My personal five favorite games of 2020 in order of preference. Starting with number five, Spider-Man Miles Morales the best superhero game ever made that's right the game is dope um launched on um on playstation 5 and playstation 4 but was a system seller for the playstation 5 loved the game from beginning to end not as long as the playstation 4 game spider-man but otherwise it's a fantastic fantastic game ray tracing 4k 60 frames per second adrenaline rush from beginning to end at number five spider-man miles morales next up at number four a free pack in title for your playstation astro playroom bro this game very few games actually exceed my expectation this game just put a smile on my face from beginning to end from the title screen all the way to the end this is going to be the first platinum my first game i'm gonna platinum at least you don't platinum games i just play through the I'm single player beat it move on to the next game but i'm gonna actually go back and platinum this game fantastic game bro perfect packing title to let you know what this dual sense is all about the goat of controllers and so astro's playroom at number four number three ghost of tsushima bro sony hit us with bangers all the way through the playstation 4 they ended the playstation 4 with two banging titles and one of them ghost of tsushima dope game enjoyed the game from beginning to end the final 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 battle in the game oh, epic and i love the different art styles stone stance wind stance just a fantastic game ghost of tsushima comes in at number three Number two, Demon Souls remake on the PlayStation 5. That's right. They said it couldn't be done. I heard Obi Wan, you're not gonna be able to beat Demon Souls, and we beat the game. We knocked it out in about two weeks. The game was now. Nah, I did die a lot. <laughs> I did die a lot, but I enjoyed the game because when you finally figure out the level, finally figure out the boss. Dope, dope, dope game. Can't wait for 
Elden Ring. Is it Elden Ring made by From Software, the same developers next year? It's supposed to be coming out, I think. But Demon Souls, fantastic game, exclusive to the PlayStation 5. Really takes advantage of the PlayStation 5 hardware. The game looks beautiful, bro. Running on the PlayStation 5. The number two is Demon Souls. And if you've been keeping up with your boy, you already know the number one game for 2020 is Last of Us 2. Epic. Epic. One word, epic. The story arc, epic. Playing as the two different characters, epic. I'm not going to spoil it, but the game is epic. My number one game of 2020, Last of Us 2. Love the game from beginning to end. I was just at my on the edge of my seat all the while while I was playing this game. The story was phenomenal in my opinion. And so those are my top five games of 2020. What am I currently playing? I'm currently playing Sackboy multiplayer with sponsors. We're going through beating the game together. All right, uh, on my gaming channel. So make sure you guys go and check out my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship. We game on there, we be lit over there. We just have a good time. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know, but before you go, bro, Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All oh, things gaming. Bro, we out. Boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at obi one Plays, And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Peace.